Knowledge is power. And this information is presented in the spirit of empowerment. For it is written in the Holy Scriptures, be as wise as a serpent and as innocent as a dove. And with that spirit, I present this information to you, my esteemed viewer. In order to explain how our world came to be controlled by a small group of beings we call the Illuminati, one should know the truth about black magic and how it is used on us against our free will. By taking away the illusion of black magic, humanity can realize how to outsmart, outwit, and outplay. While Pluto is in Capricorn, and while we are beginning the age of Aquarius, I, in fact, I'd say it's already it's began. Let's, let's just say that we are in now officially in the age of Aquarius, ascending to the new earth, fifth dimension earth, Tara, Lady Tara, as the fifth dimension earth is uh, referred to. As we are in the age of Aquarius, now is the time to utilize the light within us to shine in order to rise above in numbers over the few who are quickly losing control. What is magic, you may ask? Magic, in general, is a word used to describe the attempt to influence an experience by the use of rituals, symbols, actions, gestures, and language. Magic spells or spelling can communicate with consciousness of other dimensions and layers within dimensions in order to request help with manifestation. Additions to spelling can include hand mudras. That's a ninja hand mudra that I'm sharing with you. Don't use that one irresponsibly, okay, kids? Hand mudras, geometric patterns, Sacred geometry and rituals comprised of step-by-step -step processes that include specific instructions in order to manifest. Black magic versus white magic. The difference between black magic and white magic is that black magic infringes upon the free will of individuals and is the misuse of tools that were intended to assist in spiritual ascension. Whereas white magic is all about alchemy and transformation in a spiritual sense. Black magic is used for domination, power, and control. As we live in a world of duality, everything has its opposite duality. These definitions of magic are derived from what we have been told about it in books, grimoires, and ancient eldritch tomes of eldritch science. There is a deeper understanding of magic that connects beyond our reality. Magic is actually a multidimensional tool used to form the illusion we see, feel, and hear. And this power has been hidden from us since the time of Atlantis. It was passed down through several years from priests and priestesses that taught people how to manifest things from the background or formless energy. Magic was intended for use of spiritually minded individuals who had an understanding of the power of manifestation and were able to use it responsibly. Only those of a hierarchy level or a priest or priestess had access to this because they had proven their responsibility to use it with permission for an individual and for the betterment of humankind. Although it has been said many times that humans are all one, it has also been obvious that we are all at different levels of individual progression on our spiritual path. Let's talk about how magic caused the fall of Atlantis. The following account of the use of black magic to control humanity is derived from a mixture of channeled messages, books about Atlantis, books about ascension, and an innate knowing that freeing ourselves of black magic programming is what we need to accomplish. Use your own discernment in reading this material and decide whether this is the truth of your reality that I am now presenting to you in video format. You, my esteemed viewer. Atlantis. 
Among the inhabitants of that ancient land, there were selfish and greedy people in Atlantis, as well as highly evolved spiritual people, just as there are Illuminati and light workers on the planet today. Although the human mental body, the mind, and the spiritual body were anchored in the fifth dimension, the physical body was anchored in the third dimension. By free will choice, one could explore the fifth dimension while occupying a third dimensional physical space, and others could choose to experience what it was like to vibrate on a lower third dimensional way of life on the planet. These people were split up into groups and colonies across the vast continent. Something happened in Atlantis that was never supposed to happen in the overall plan of humanity. Living together as one, but in individuality and duality. The selfish, greedy people got their hands on ancient rituals used by priests and priestesses and used them in order to further their wealth and power over the people of Atlantis. They intended to take over the whole planet. And by the looks of things today, it seems they were successful. Detail of Hell from Fresco Cycle by Frederico Zucchero and Giorgio Vasari. The result of this was a rift through the dimension that opened up a tear in the lower fourth dimension, the astral realm. The astral realm in the fourth dimension is one of the nastiest places one can imagine and has been likened to Hell. Extraterrestrials in the form of reptiles, earthbound spirits, and jinn, genies and tricksters, gypsies, you know, small-handed folk, are a few of the culprits here in the fourth dimension of the lower astral realms. Beings came through the rift and infiltrated the Atlantis colony, attaching themselves to those of a lower vibration that summoned them and to others that were simply living a lower third dimensional life. They required human blood in order to anchor themselves on this side of the rift. And they used their knowledge of mind control to get the people to give it up to them. They destroyed civilization in Atlantis with a misuse of technology, and they continued their reign as they spread across the planet through incarnation after incarnation. They were only able to do this by establishing a true pure bloodline from the beginning of their arrival and the ability to project their essence into a human body. They did this with black magic. Through the use of the blood ritual, in fact, specifically. This bloodline is highly protected today as the small core of the Illuminati interbreeds with only pure chosen bloodline family members. Every time there was a chance for humanity to free themselves from this magical illusion, the attempts were thwarted by those of the Dark Rift, and humanity fell further and further into a deep spell that made them think they needed to be controlled and told what to do and how to do it. About 7,000 years ago, in fact, the dark beings began destroying as much evidence of the Atlantean society as possible, hiding the remnant of any powers of magic from the abilities of average humans. White magic knowledge was carefully guarded by those called Essenes and the Knights Templar throughout the ages and were passed down through word of mouth and secret symbols. This was eventually infiltrated by the dark as well, and the factions of secret society groups continued to practice dark rituals behind the closed door. The plan to completely take over the planet was a huge success due to the knowledge of the mind and how to control it remotely through another dimension. By hiding their manipulation behind other minions, these beings controlled humans like puppets on strings and became wealthy rulers and dark lords throughout the ages. Blood sacrifices were necessary for them to stay alive as well as mining low vibrational energy off of humans, hence the digital matrix I've gone on and on about. The trap of the archons, the soul trap, etc., etc. Therefore, it was absolutely necessary to keep humans in a low state of vibration and to keep the secret of this secret. Humans are connected to the planet as we are made of her elements, just as humans and the planet are connected to their creator source. Due to the infiltration of these beings who cast darkness across the planet, the earth fell in her vibration at the time of the fall of the Atlantis civilization. 
Some say that Earth volunteered to lower her vibration in order to quarantine the mix of beings from other dimensions because that was never supposed to happen and had never happened before. Earth ascension, furthermore, now there was a plan put in place by Lady Tara, or Gaia at that time, and her creator to allow the experience to occur, but the plan would allow her to rise again. This would require humanity to use their free will to choose to rise above fear and control into love and to remember who they are as a spark of their creator. Fast forward to today's reflection of what is happening. The mind controlling of humanity has become like a computer program where thought is manipulated. Various forms of technology are used to ensure humans do not wake up from this control. They do not want humans to realize that their higher mind, minds exist in a higher plane of density and that they have always had access to this higher self. They also keep them from realizing that although they are told they are free, quite the opposite is true. Mind control and manipulation of illusion is the form of black magic that is controlling humanity today. What can we do to reverse black magic? When a human has an awakening experience and realizes that they are a spirit incarnated into a human body and have probably incarnated many times on the planet, he or she realizes that the spirit never dies. This begins to dissipate a fear of dying and opens the door to many questions about our existence. When one steps through the door and realizes that almost everything in our reality was devised to manipulate us by keeping us in fear and low vibration, the answer to reversing this programming becomes simple. Knowledge of who we are as multidimensional beings of light, trapped in a lower vibrational experience is the beginning of gnosis, is the beginning of learning how to raise your vibration in order to free yourself from the hidden illusions of. Female, male, baby, robot. Black magic. Pro. All right, folks. So you can see that this exciting new video series is going to get very savory indeed, very juicy, with lots of tidbits of knowledge and understanding, and even some vocal effects when the mood and timing is right. Stay folks. Stay folks. Stay, <laughs> stay tuned and stay folks. Don't become snakes or reptiles. Namaste, namaste.